I'm Anil Kumar and here is a question relating to probability density of a function. The question is, the probability density function of a discrete random variable x is given by p of x equals to x is equal to x squared over 55 for x between 0 and 5, both included, where x belongs to set of natural numbers. Write the probability distribution verify that x is a random variable and state the mode so there are three things to be done here so what we are given here is the probability density function is equals to x square over 55 okay now x could be 0 to 5 so let's find these values so when x is equals to 0 the value is how much so it is 0 square over 55, so it is 0. Now, when x is equals to 1, in that case, it is 1 square over 55, so it is 1 over 55. And if probability for x equals to 2 is 2 square over 55 and that is 4 over 55 for 3 it will be 3 square over 55 that is 9 over 55 for x equals to 4 it is going to be 4 square over 55 or 16 over 55 right and for 5 it will be 5 square over 55, which is 25 over 55, right? So that is what you get. Now from here, we can write the distribute, uh, probability distribution. So in probability distribution, we'll make columns uh, for each, which is uh, uh, five columns, that is to say, right? So we have zero, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, correct? So let me just write down these columns here, right? So what we have here is the random variable x, right? And the probabilities for x equals to lower small x, right? So in this, we can plug in the values which we have calculated in the table. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are possible outputs for our random variable and each has the probability which we have calculated and these probabilities are 0, 1 over 55, 4 over 55, 9 over 55, 16 over 55, and 25 over 55. These are the probabilities of each. And when we write it in this form, it becomes probability distribution, right? So you can see for each output, what is the probability, right? Now the second part for this question is, verify that X is a random variable. How do we do that? So that we can do if some of these probabilities, that is to take sigma, probability for X equals to xi, right? So in this case, i is from 0 to 5, right? That should be equal to 1. In that case, it is random variable, right? So let's add this up. So basically, what we have here is, this is sum is uh, 0 plus 1 over 55 plus 4 over 55 plus 9 over 55 plus 16 over 55 plus 25 over 55, right? So let's add the numerators. Denominators are same, 55. So it is 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 is equal to 55. So we get 55 over 55, which is indeed 1, right? Since their sum is 1, we have verified that x is a random variable, correct? So that part we've done just now, x is a random variable. And now we have to state the mode. So mode is what? 
mode is most frequent right so let's talk about mode now so mode is most frequent so the highest probability that is to say so in this case most frequent is is 5 right since the probability is 25 over 55 right so so the mode in this case is equal to 5 so that is the mode for us right so the output for random variable which corresponds to 5 is the mode in the current example I'm Anil Kumar and I hope this example helps you to understand few concepts. Thank you and all the best.